today we will discuss about particle swarm optimization in short we will call it as a pso algorithms it is proposed by kennedy and eben hart in 1995 it is also belonging to nature inspired algorithms that means uh, it is inspired from a flock of birds i will tell you can see in nature you will observe a flock of birds flock of birds flock of birds are a school of fish school of fish they always move as a group they always move as a group so the main reason for moving all the fish or birds in a group is whenever a certain individual like bird or fish sense a food or threat immediately it will share its information to others it will share its information or experience with others so that every other member in the group can profit can get can get profit from from others experience once they get profit from others experience they will quickly reach to their destination destination or goal destination or goal okay so this property this behavior is observed by the others and they proposed one algorithm simulating the above behavior so similar to a flock of birds in pso algorithm here we will take a number of particles fixed number of particles each particle is made to search its local best in its own local region each particle can find its best solution around its own local region and whenever the solution or best local solution is there those information it will be shared to all the other particles in the algorithm thereby all the others will select the best solution and reach the global optimization quickly so this is the essence of the algorithm here let us see one by one let us see let us see one by one here here the basic idea is each particle is searching for its optimum is searching for the its own optimum and then each particle it will be moving and it has its own velocity each particle here in the particle in the sense it is a it is individual solution vector each particle is a, is a solution vector you have to understood is having a solution vector okay and another specialty is each particle he is having the idea about the best position that means each particle remembers the best position best position or solution or best solution 
it has reached. That means we can call it as a local best. Okay. When each particle travels in different directions, all the particles, all the particles in the swarm will cooperate. Here, all the particles in the swarm will cooperate means they will exchange the information. That is the main point here. They exchange the information, they exchange the information, what information they will exchange? They will exchange the information about the local best in their neighborhood to all others in the swamp. Okay. This will lead to this will lead to this will lead to the easy calculation of easy calculation of global best global best so that means you have to understood that each particle is having its own solution vector and is having its own local best that means the best solution in the neighborhood and the global best solution in the overall space and another thing is each particle each particle each particle will maintain will maintain velocity velocity vector okay each particle in the swarm will maintain solution vector local best information global best information and velocity vector okay based on the local best and the global best velocity vectors will be updated this velocity vectors it will be added to the current solution vector to get updated solution vector okay here the solution vector the new solution vector is always equal to is always equal to old solution old solution plus plus current adjustment new velocity okay this new velocity is calculated by this new velocity is calculated by new velocity is calculated by current velocity plus weighted random random portion of portion in the direction of in the direction of personal best plus weighted random vector vector in the direction of in the direction of global best okay
having understood this, we will write a algorithm. We will write the algorithm. PSO algorithm. First one is for each particle you need to perform initialize the particles position you can enter statement fourth one is so for each for each particle for each particle calculate the fitness value calculate the fitness value if the fitness value if the fitness value is better than personal best personal best then set the current value as current value as and yes new p best in the eighth step you can end the for loop you can end the for loop in the tenth statement again so what we are doing is it's very simple thing we are calculating the parcel best for each particle okay for each particle you calculate the fitness value if the fitness value is better than the personal best then the set the current value as p best okay that means uh, you, you can use some local optimization technique to find a new value or new neighborhood of the current pa particle location so next one is you have to choose another parameter choose the particle with best fitness value of all as g best so you take all the particles of all the particles select uh, of all the particles select one particle as a g best that means a global best global best and then for each particle for each particle you will calculate calculate the particle velocity according to this equation by using this equation the equation is v of i plus 1 is equal to world velocity of i to particle plus some constant c1 into some random function into the difference between the difference between p best 
e best of i vector and present of i vector similarly you have to take the consideration of global position also c2 into some random function into g best of ith particle minus present vector of ith ith position okay so you need to calculate the new velocity particle velocity new particle velocity so once you got the particle velocity you need to update you need to update the particle position update the particle position so how do you update the particle position present solution vector is equal to present of i plus v of i so by using this equation you will update the particles position particles position and finally you can end for loop you have to repeat the statements from you have to repeat the statements from step 6 to step 5 to step 5 to step 16 until you reach the termination criteria until you reach the termination criteria you have to execute the statements so here the hyper parameters are here the hyper parameters are the number of particles so what we have done means it's very simple each particle is one solution one candidate solution for each particle we will randomly assign its values okay and after that for each particle we will maintain two parameters one is p best parameter one is p best parameter for each particle we will maintain two parameters p best parameter and g best parameter okay g best parameter after random initialization of particles location we will calculate the fitness value for each particle if the fitness value is better than the personal best that means uh, its old position then set the current solution as a p best and after that each particle will have a global parameter called as global best this is global parameter so since i already told you all particles will have p best so those p best values will be sent to e one each other correspondingly comparisons will takes place so the best p best value so you can see the choose the particle with best fitness value it will be assigned as global best so once you got the global best now it is time to update the it is time to update the particle vector particle position vector here there are different terms are used by me so all are same whether it is position vector or solution vector both are same okay so again once we calculate the g best g best now it is time to update the position of each particles so how the position of each particles will be updated means by using these two equations one is updating the 
particle velocities and updating the position vector okay so first we will calculate the particle velocities of each particle so current velocity plus some weighted form of difference between uh, p best vector and present location and plus weighted form of global difference of global weight vector and present vector by doing this each particle will move towards global so, global solution vector after a few iterations okay this is the logic that is involved okay this is the logic involved so you can see that is a thing okay this is how the algorithm will work okay thank you students